Hi all, welcome to TechEd 2020 session DT107, Experience Intelligent ERP with SAP S4 HANA. My name is Orange Shatil and I'm a Vice President in SAP. And for this session, I'm joined by Matthias Rupp. Hi Matthias. Hi and welcome also from my side. My name is Matthias Rupp and I'm a product expert working in the S4 HANA team. Matthias has an interesting demo to share with us a little later for this session. Uh, we will be back to you soon, uh, Matthias. Sounds good, Oren. Now, let's get started with a quick review of the session agenda. In this session, we will start with a quick overview of various artificial intelligence technologies and to see why we have all those technologies and processes in our SAP portfolio. We will then dive into a few of the artificial intelligence solutions like SAP intelligent robotic process automation, situation handling, and machine learning. We will then end with, with this session. We will then end this session by providing a brief outlook on how these technologies can be useful for your business processes. First, let's review the changes of enterprise information technology over the years. As you can see on the charted timeline, the industrial revolution in the 60s to 80s leapfrogged us into technology advancements. At the same time, it exposed us to a lot of repetitive tasks. In the 90s, innovation in new technology drove business automation fundamentals. Digital transformation was in full steam at the start of the century to create further opportunities of process improvement, which lead us to today intelligent enterprise as we know it. The key characteristic of intelligent enterprise are the increase of automation, the reduction of repetitive non-value generating tasks, and the increase of high value knowledge work by human. Business processes are fundamentally how an organization realizes its mandates. Therefore, process efficiency is no longer a differentiator. It is a table stake to keep pace in the digital future if we get process wrong, we don't last as a business. We are in the midst of helping organizations implement the intelligent enterprise. McKinsey research state that 50% of current work activities are technically automatable by adopting currently demonstrated technologies. Forrester call out AI technology specifically in the quote that 88 percent of companies believe that next generation of enterprise application will be infused with machine learning and other AI technologies. At SAP, the main technologies supporting intelligent enterprise rely on conversational AI, robotic process automation, RPA, situation handling and machine learning with customer historic and current application data to drive further value. Once customers are fully committed to intelligent enterprise, a lot of benefits can be realized. The employees are shifting to higher value driven work for manual repetitive tasks. New cross-functional roles could be potentially created to focus on business insight. After all, smart interactions with human and machine working together is to ensure that employees focus on the business outcome that will define the success of an organization. To gain business agility then, you need the standardization provided by Intelligent Enterprise, the SAP S4 HANA. SAP S4 HANA is the market leading intelligent enterprise that helps organization in all industries achieve business agility enabling them to meet ever-rising customer expectations, deliver new products and services, and manage resources more efficiently in the era of increasing market and regulatory demands. Next generation end-to-end -end business processes are powered by three key areas of innovation. Digital age user experience based on digital assistant and natural language conversation for increased productivity and user satisfaction. Intelligent automation, we use here a combination of artificial intelligence and robotic process automation to increase 
operational efficiency, efficiency and effectiveness while reducing manual tasks by 50% or more. End-to-end -end analytics, which provide context-aware, real-time, predictive insights so users and executives alike can make better decisions faster. So how can we operationalize intelligence or what makes S for HANA intelligent? When you look at different processes in the dimension of how data is acquired, how it is analyzed, how decisions are made and how actions are taken, we can talk about different level of automation. On that scale here from zero, not automated to five fully autonomous. In some of the dimension like data acquisition, full autonomy is often already achieved since decades because data is transferred via EDI, electronic data exchange, so there is no need for many machine learning or artificial intelligence. On the other hand, in some area, we are often still see data, seeing data being interchanged in unstructured analog documents instead of electronic formats. So here, for example, artificial intelligence comes in handy in extract data in an autonomous way. And the other dimension behave similar, while a lot of decisions can be taken based on simple rules, in other area we see need for self-learning modules, taking into account a high volume of attributes than a human, that a human could not uh, oversee in a rule-based system. So we try to bring the right technology into the processes to achieve a higher level of automation and intelligent while not necessarily using AI to solve every problem. Now, I would like to hand over to Matthias to start with the first demo. Thank you, Oren. In the next minutes, I will guide you through the portfolio of software solutions that power the intelligent ERP. But before we dive into the technologies themselves, let us check how end users perceive intelligent technologies. So in the first and following demo, we will put ourselves into the role of an operational purchaser and see how his workday could look like. So let us roll the demo. SAP S4 HANA's intelligent innovations help your purchasing department automate their procurement processes and gain greater efficiency. Intelligent innovations support your team throughout the entire procurement process and provide intelligent insights to help reduce costs and minimize risk. This frees up your purchasing department to focus on higher value-add tasks and deliver negotiated savings. Sam is the operational purchaser of ABC Corporation. His day-to-day -day activities include processing and approving purchase requisitions, keeping track of supplier confirmations, and navigating delivery challenges. Let's see how SAP S4 HANA Innovations helps Sam in his role. Each day, Sam receives a long list of purchase requisitions from several sources. Normally, he manually creates purchase requisitions in the SAP S4 HANA system from a spreadsheet, row by row. Thankfully, with intelligent robotic processing automation, a bot can do the work automatically. Another tedious task that Sam undertakes is purchase requisition approvals. Every day, his email inbox is flooded with requests for requisition approvals. The constant influx makes it challenging for Sam to thoroughly check the numerous purchase requisitions and take the necessary action right away. Sam can utilize SAP S4 HANA's machine learning capabilities to derive a confidence level for the validity of each purchase requisition. For requisitions with a high confidence level, Sam can approve them immediately and focus on those needing his expertise. As a result, Sam can make informed decisions quickly and efficiently drive compliance. Purchase orders have now been created and sent to suppliers. However, many small suppliers still use email to confirm purchase orders. Intelligent RPA can deploy a bot to confirm or update a purchase order with the product quantity, price, and delivery date, thereby minimizing Sam's time spent on this manual task. Sam realizes that some suppliers haven't confirmed purchase orders. For materials impacting the manufacturing process, it is crucial to track whether suppliers will deliver goods on time. Purchasers can zoom in on purchase orders with upcoming delivery scheduled and missing order confirmations. 
Enabled by SAP S4 HANA's situation handling, Sam receives a notification prompting him to check the Monitor Supplier's Confirmations app. In the app, content is pre-filtered by items with missing order confirmations. With these consolidated details, Sam can proactively prevent a late delivery as soon as he is made aware. Sometimes, even though a supplier confirms the delivery date, the delivered quantity is lower than what was initially confirmed, which can be detrimental to production. SAP S4 HANA alerts purchasers when there exists a quantity deficit for a required delivery date. The notification includes contextual details such as supplier's contact information so that responsible purchasers like Sam can reach out directly without spending time searching for contacts. The SAP S4 HANA notification also includes a list of alternative suppliers in case Sam wishes to immediately order the material from other options. This helps Sam to anticipate potential delays and avoid setbacks for ABC Corporation. In the case of direct materials required for manufacturing, a delivery delay impacts on-time production resulting in costly assembly line rescheduling. SAP S4 HANA uses machine learning algorithms to predict a shipment's arrival date. It infers supplier delays based on various scenarios in order to predict the probability of delay. SAM can also simply choose a purchase order item and ask the system to predict the delivery date. Leveraging this intelligent insight, SAM can improve planning and avoid production delays and rescheduling. In this example, we have seen how intelligent innovations are a value add to the procure to invoice process. We have used intelligent RPA to automatically create purchase requisitions, streamlined the purchase requisition approval process using machine learning, used an intelligent RPA bot to confirm purchase orders, reducing manual work, leveraged situation handling to resolve a missing purchase order confirmation, or to overcome a potential deficit in delivery quantity, empowering purchasers to be proactive, and use machine learning to predict the probability of delivery delay of purchase order items. All of these intelligent insights have allowed SAM to be a more productive operational purchaser and leave the repetitive work to SAP and S4 HANA. So this is just one sample how we could envision an end-to-end -end process supported by intelligent technologies. You can find further samples in the area of sales, in the area of procurement, finance, under the YouTube links that uh, are visible on that slide on the top left. And by the way, those videos show what is available already today within S4HANA. As you have seen in the demo, Next generation end-to-end -end processes will be powered not only by a single, but several technologies. Within S4HANA, we therefore make use of the manifold offerings of the business technology platform. We deeply integrate these technologies to enrich the existing standard processes and Fiori apps so that you can use them right out of the box as uh, standard software. That's what we call then intelligent scenarios. And you have seen some of them in the demo in the beginning. However, also important to note here that you are, of course, not limited to our standard scenarios, but you can simply take the same underlying components to craft your own custom scenarios. Let us now dive into some of these and see how they power the intelligent ERP. Starting with what we can depict as the eyes and ears of our system is SAP's conversational AI solution. Conversational AI allows us to talk and interact with an S4HANA system in natural language. Currently, we are enhancing and replatforming the existing co-pilot towards S4, uh, SAP Conversational AI to offer a fully integrated package, to offer standard ERP, bot skills, integrated user uh, experience, and also extensive extensibility options. Bear with me. As we don't have released the new S4 HANA chatbots as of today, it is planned for early next year. Still, let us quickly look into a demo briefly. Here we see a labs preview how we envision the integration of SAP Conversational AI with S4 HANA. So we are locked in here in the front end as a user in the area of procurement. And we can now simply start to chat with our chatbot. They show me purchase orders for plant 1010 and the chatbot being connected to our s4 system pulls out respective items interesting for me 
I cannot just click one of these items and the chatbot will directly navigate me in the front end to the respective Fiori application. Next in the list, in the end-to-end -end demo in the beginning, you have seen how a software robot was used to bridge between Microsoft Office, reading our data from Excel sheets and posting it into an S4 system. In the ERP space, that's still a famous and often requested capability. However, of course, not the only use case for an automation with RPA. Other typical use cases consist of uh, using RPA to for example, uh, integrate legacy applications, read from external supplier portals or B2B platforms and so on. For example, you could have a robot that every Tuesday logs into a web portal and pulls out some status information for you, posting it into an ERP system. So what is SAP Intelligent RPA? It is a complete automation platform that is in itself not limited to automate as for HANA, but basically allows you to automate almost any software. In case you're interested in the platform itself, check out the other tech sessions that go deeper into that topic. As in this session, we will mainly focus on how RPA can help to interact and help uh, and automate as for HANA. So how does RPA interact and remote control an SAP as for HANA system? Starting on the left, we can differentiate two flavors of bots the so-called unattended robots running in background completely without user interaction. As these robots are either started based on a schedule, right, monthly, weekly, or specific dates, or what is also interesting, they can be started on events that happen within the SAP S4HANA system. Like for example, when a sales order was changed or saved, a robot could start acting and doing some automations of that. So the robot is executed and starts its task, tasks uh, based on such a trigger. And to interact with the S4 system, it can then, in best case, simply call S4HANA APIs, like SOAP or OData APIs. Or if there is no API available, of course, RPA also allows to remote control the Fiori or SAP GUI user interfaces. The other flavor, the so-called unattended bots, run on a business user's Windows desktop. So users can start automations on demand. The bot will take over mouse and keyboard and act for the user. The advantage of is, of course, that the user immediately gets feedback and can interact with the automation bot. As mentioned, typically RPA is an automation platform that allows you to build your custom automations. With SAP S4 HANA, however, we even provide ready to use automation scripts. So in best case, you simply configure and run them without the need of an automation developer. You can find these automations, these robots in the RPA store. And let me show you a little demo how such a robot is operated. Let us start a demo in the RPA factory, the cloud-based component to manage our software robots, our automations. In the store, you will find all the pre-built bots. As you can see, you can filter by application, by edition, category, or line of business. Let us look into one of these robots, 4CA, which is one of the most famous around s You can find a brief description of what the bot is automating, compatible s cloud versions and attached files like input files, sample files, a complete configuration guide how to set up the bot, as well as the complete source code to extend or customize the robot. Now, how do we use that automation and take it into our system? So we can just click that button here that typically is there and you will deploy that bot into an environment. You would have one for your prod, one for your queue system, and um, there you will find a couple of variables that you need to configure. In this case, I'm connecting it to an S4HANA Cloud Essential System, specify a user and password, and we are ready to go. So here we see the package deployed, and we can now just go into the monitoring to watch that robot acting. Let us now jump into the end user's perspective. So here we see that Excel template that is used to make the journal entry postings. We can 
fill this Excel sheet. Here I'm just changing the description. So you might ask yourself now what's new here? There is Excel upload also natively available in S4, of course. However, we see often customers require steps before and after the actual upload or posting, like consolidations, error handling, lookups and legacy systems. With RPA, you can extend those steps simply to your needs. In my case, I don't want to upload the file manually, but have the robot do this for me. So I simply send the Excel sheet via email to my robot and the robot is posting it for me in background. Let us refresh our monitoring. We can now see the job was executed. It's currently running here. So the robot is currently posting that data into the system. When I now refresh again, I should already have an update as the robot is using an API. So it's quite quick posting that data into the system. And we get centrally log information on what happens. Of course, this is again the administrative view. The end user typically would want to have a proper report about the postings. Let us quickly jump into the system to check if the posting was made properly. And here we see in the Fiori application that we have the hello tag at posting. Switching back to the end user, in my case, I told the bot to forward the report to an MS Teams channel here. So a complete team could monitor the robot and see what it did post into the system. The robot therefore generates a simple Excel report that contains all the data. Okay, next out of our intelligent enterprise technologies is situation handling. A framework that automatically detects issues in your businesses that require attention, typically of specific users and it will inform them, them accordingly. So you can choose from various options to inform users, such as notifications, dedicated object pages, and it will also provide data related to that situation, right? Um, for informed decisions and proposed actions so that users can solve these situations quickly and efficiently. So you might ask what role situation handling plays uh, in the intelligent ERP. And we can compare that to autonomous driving. While in a first level towards full autonomy, the ERP proactively recognizes critical situations and only notifies the right people. In subsequent levels, however, it could also then automate and take over counter actions autonomously. Instead of only notifying a human, the system could automatically resolve maybe only a portion of these situations. The underlying component that is now in customer beta is called intelligent situation automation. In the first step, it allows you uh, to carry out specific actions depending on a rule-based approach. But looking into the future, it will also be possible to have a self-learning, machine le uh, learning assisted approach to decisions and propose actions. And it's just one option of automation. Let us quickly also jump into a demo. If you recall the first demo, we have shown that situation handling can proactively detect, in that case, that a supplier only confirmed a partial shipment. So instead of a human now acting on those situations, a automation, a robot could do certain actions like triggering an, an order from another supplier. Other important ingredients to our intelligent ERP is machine learning, as well as the Internet of Things. Not going too deep into the area of IoT today, however, being able to incorporate sensor data also within business processes offers detailed and real life insights. And we have a first scenario available here where sensor data is proactively detecting issues and deliveries, bringing that into the ERP. Machine learning here on the left allows our system to learn out of existing or historical data. So we can augment the user experience with machine-based recommendations, help filling complex forms, digitize unstructured data, or estimate critical situations even in advance. 
Let us have a brief look underneath the built-in machine learning scenarios of SAP s Also here, we can differentiate between two flavors, the so-called embedded ML scenarios, which make use of ML capabilities of the underlying HANA database, and hence bringing the algorithm to the data. This works typically well for most of these simple machine learning areas like forecasts, classifications, or regressions. In fields of deep learning with huge neural nets, complex models, or when external data is required, we also make use of machine learning services running side by side to SAP S4 HANA, typically offered as a service within the SAP Cloud Platform. Um, and samples here is the recognition of unstructured data, images, invoices, payment advices, or purchase orders that we still see often arrive in, in PDF format in unstructured manner. Also here, various of those ML scenarios come out of the box as standard functionality of S4HANA. So you simply train the models based on your data and the business users will find the machine recommendations and proposals directly within their Fiori business applications. And also to note that here again, the underlying frameworks also allow to build custom models, giving you access to the exact same technology than we use. Let us quickly jump into a demo how that looks like in the system. We start in the Intelligent Scenarios app that comes with S4HANA. As you can see, we start to cover embedded as well as the side-by-side -side machine learning scenarios to have a single home. New in this release is that we can also create an intelligent scenario that is using one of the you know, embedded APL or PAL uh, machine learning capabilities of SAP s hana So we create a new intelligent scenario and add a model in a wizard-like style. We put a simple name here in the description and then select the training and apply data set. The training data set, we can make use of a simple CDS view that is reading from data out of our HANA database. So the data is not leaving the system. Um, we bring the algorithm to the data and the apply data set is then run during inference. As a target in this sample, we wanna predict if a product is a computer, it's no computer based on data that is already in our database. So by now, by publishing this scenario, all the underlying ABAP classes are generated in background. They can be transported and of course also accordingly. And we now switch to the intelligent scenario management site or application to train that model, which is basically starting the learning process of that model directly in the HANA database. Here we can see that it's also possible to add multiple models to one scenario. So we select now our newly created model to start a training run. The system automatically pulls data out of the underlying database, giving us an indicator how many line items we have in that uh, CDS view. We, are, we can set filters to narrow down the training data set. And we now click train to start and schedule a model training in background in the HANA database. Looking into um, existing trainings or previous trainings, we see now that we have a scheduled um, version three in here. We also see there's already an active version in the system. And we can now look into one of these previous trained versions to get some kind of a quality report of that training. So the system calculates predictive power and predictive confidence and gives us some kind of indication how well the model performs. If you're interested in further details, visit session INT123, that's INT123, um, which goes into further details of creating your own ML scenarios. With that said, thank you for your attention and I hope you got a bit of an overview. There's various sessions going into further details and we have added some slides and links for you in the end. So back to Oren. 
for a brief summary and outlook. Thank you, Matthias, for a great deep dive. To summarize what you've seen, you've seen how chatbot allowed to interact with systems in natural language across multiple channels, how RPA can help to automate manual tedious tasks even across system boundaries, and how the system proactively detects situation and offers actions. And last, how machine learning allowed to enable our software to self-learn out of historical data, recognize patterns, and work with high volumes of unstructured and structured data. How sensor data can be used as well to enrich business processes in real-time data. All of them running on the same technical basis, SAP Business Technology Platform, allowing for a deep integration in data and business processes. When you remember the end-to-end -end demo shown in the beginning, each of the capabilities was contributing and interacting with the business process itself, striving for a completely autonomous ERP. As we have seen in some of the demos, there are various AI scenarios that, we come that will come with SAP S4 HANA. Typically, the first question that customer asks is, where do I start? There are a couple of criteria that can go into such an assessment. First is the business improvement. Which of this intelligence scenario will bring my business real value? The other point to consider is data readiness and functional fit. For example, do I have the underlying processes running already? Do I have the Fiori apps in use? Do we have enough data in the system? Everything should be considered in this assessment. You can then, as a customer, put those scenarios on different horizons of when you want to do what and what you want to do, when do you want to start with this. Our services colleague here have various explore service that help answer those questions and help you facilitate and structure this. Defining innovation and ambitions and also doing a data-driven analysis of where there is a lot of manual effort in the current system. Then the last step is to go into an explore workshop, which is a pretty fine workshop together with the customer and our services colleague and decide which of the intelligent processes would bring value to the, to the organization and prioritize based on that. In the appendix of this session, we've also added a list of all currently available scenario for your convenience. Next, let's see how can you start your journey to the intelligent ent enterprise. Almost all the innovations shown are only available in SAP S4 HANA due to the requirement on underlying data structure, APIs, and Fiori user experience. Being on your journey to SAP S4 HANA, most importantly, of course, listen to the LOB and your functional experts. Then make use of the reports that are available for example, Spotlight to analyze potential use cases for intelligent technologies. Start with some of the easy to implement use cases like the embedded machine learning cases, situation handling scenarios, or intelligent RPA robots. For more support from SAP, you can always reach out to our services or uh, the front runner team, um, and uh, we will um, get back as soon as we can. Finally, we have listed a couple of additional links and information and also tech it session details around the SAP S4 HANA Intelligent Technologies for more information. I hope you had a good overview uh, session of AI technologies in SAP S4 HANA. Thank you, Matthias, for joining me and thank you all for listening today. Have a great day. Thank you.